we might add a bit of the shaper to that one. And also might increase the release time of this one slightly as well. With our filter, we can also get it to follow the key track that we're using. With that one turned off, you get a fairly standard sound. With that one turned up, you'll notice that the frequency of the filter is actually following the pitch of the notes that I'm playing. If we turn that one off again, you'll notice that you get a bit more of a natural sound with the key track turned up than you do with it turned down, although you can get some quite interesting sounds by using a static sort of filter as well. So to add that extra bit of movement in there, we might just get our auxiliary envelope and we'll chuck that one on our shaper amount. Bring that one up. And as you can hear, just getting that sound to have a bit, bit more breath to it 